Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the DAISY expansion Steam Workshop mod on your local uh, DAISY server. This is a server that you run maybe for single player purposes or maybe for testing um, on your local PC so that you can test out mods, check out compatibilities before you upload them to the cloud. And I highly recommend this as a workflow for anybody who's into modding PC servers because it really enables you to identify any problems before you put things into the cloud and very importantly it teaches you where you can probably make mistakes how to find those mistakes quickly and how to get things working again quickly so for this purpose of this video i'm kind of assuming that well i am assuming that you've already got a uh, local server up and running that's got cf on it and the community online tools mods on it and they're working as well you've tested them and they're working because especially with mods like um, expansion that are quite complicated it's very important that you do things in stages and you make sure that each stage works so in the description below the video I'll, I'll put a link to my previous video about how to get a local server working with CF and community online tools because Daisy expansion builds on these and it needs them to work so next thing you need to do is go to the um, workshop um, in Steam, uh, look for the Daisy Workshop and go to Daisy Expansion. And you want to subscribe to Daisy Expansion, Expansion License, Expansion Core, Expansion Vehicles. You'll already be um, subscribed to CF and Community Online Tools, and uh, that will then get those downloading to your local PC. Next thing we want to do is we want to find out where these are. Um, they're actually in your Daisy file on your computer. But if you go to um, your PC, there's, there's different ways of finding them, but I find it's it's very helpful to really understand where these files exactly are on your computer. So on my computer, if you go into local disk C, um, they're in program files x86, and then you look for Steam, then they're in Steam apps, then they're in common, and there's Daisy there. So we click into Daisy, which is the game, and see this one here that says Workshop. You can click on that, and then we just want to left click um, Daisy Expansion, Expansion Core, Expansion License, Expansion Vehicles. We want to right click, copy those. Then we want to go back to our Daisy server. So here's our Daisy server, and we just want to paste these in. So we're now copying those mods across to our server. Remember, the way that we do this is when we come to do it um, on a um, live server in the cloud, it's, it's basically the same as this. We're just doing it via FTP rather than copy and pasting things across. Next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the keys from these mods are in the keys folder for the server. This makes sure that um, the server and the client are singing from the same hinge sheet. Luckily, they're all the same key. So if you go into Daisy Expansion, go into Keys, expansion by key so we can just copy that come up up go into keys here paste that in there we go and you only need you only need to do that one all the others are the same next thing we want to do is we want to edit our daisy server uh, uh, start batch file here um, it's probably it could be called start it could be called something else so you want to open that in your um, favorite text editor I use notepad plus plus and what we want to make sure is that we add the mods to the mod parameter here now a really cool thing actually was if you um, go to the daisy expansion workshop page and you scroll down you'll find links to the daisy expansion instructions on how it's all here on how to install it and they're very good so here we have this is where they are this is, and i'll put a link in the description down below so D daisy expansion introduction and if you scroll down to where it says setting up the server here basically this this is the instructions that i'm running through with you now and it tells you how to do stuff and then rather handily down here under start.bat it gives you um, the files that you can add uh, the, the mod parameters so you can just copy this like so and we can copy that and then you would just 
paste that on top of your existing mod parameters which are there which I've already done anyway so they're done so that's cool so let's just save that let's just make sure I haven't made a spelling mistake it all looks good now the next thing we need to do is get the map files because unfortunately when you subscribe to the um, daisy expansion mod it doesn't download the map files which is a bit of a pain you've got to get them separately from their github repository and again i'll leave put a description in the, below the video um, um, but they're here and what you do is you click on the green box and you download the zip and there's loads in this because once they've downloaded you'll end up with something like that and you extract it and you get daisy expansion missions master and you'll see there's expansion files for Chernerus. There's Chernerus plus Gloom. So if you look into the instructions a little bit deeper, you can see you can use the plus Gloom ones, which give you certain lighting effects. I'm not going to do that on this one. Um, we're just going to go with the basic Chernerus. But you can see there's expansion files for Deer Isle, uh, Enoch, which is Livonia, um, and Namalsk as well. Um, so, you know, so the, the new snow map from Adam, from uh, Samarak. But we're just going to go with um, Chernerus plus. So there's all the files there. So if we just right click and copy that, then we go back to our server and we want to go inside the missions folder here. We paste that in there. Expansion.chernerus+. Now while we're here, just left click on the, the title once and then right click it copy. Okay, because we want that title. Then we come up here and your daisy ser sorry your server dz.config file that one there yeah edit that with notepad plus plus and you're probably familiar with this file anyway but if you scroll down to where the template is where it says daisy offline.chernerus plus we go over that we paste expansion.chernerus plus so this is the file that's telling daisy um, when it file when the server files up, look, we want the expansion plus. That's the that's the mission file we want you to use, um, and that's what we do. So we'll we'll save that, and then we go back to the Daisy server, and basically we're ready to go now. Now there's plenty of things that you can edit within your Daisy um, expansion folder to change things. Obviously you've got basic XML edits you can do, but there's also settings for things like the airdrops that happen. Um, but again, to, to, to do that, I would say go to the Daisy Wiki, Daisy expansion Wiki, sorry, and just read through the instructions there or join their Discord and, and do it there. So what we can do now is on our server, what we do now is we just hit the start, the uh, batch file, and this will then start to fire up. Just in the key to continue, and then this one comes up. This is the matrix. This is the behind the scenes. This is what your server's kind of telling. This is the log file, basically. So it's going to fire up. There it goes. Reading mission. And while that's doing that, what we can do, we can minimize those. Don't close them. We can just minimize them. And then if you fire up Daisy, make sure this is still working. Yep, that's chundering along nicely. Go to your mods in the launcher. And we also, so we want community framework, community online tools, Daisy expansion. It's going to say, can, do you want all of these as well? Because they all go together. And you say, yeah, I'll have all of them. Thank you. Then go to servers, go to your LAN. There we go. So there's six mods on it that's green, which means we've got them all, which is good. So we can say join, set up DLC mods and join. Now, this is the first time the server started, so it's, it's it will have created some folders. In fact, if we go into here, we might even be able to see in the config file. There we go. It's created the expansion mod um, folder. So that's all, that's all going nicely. So this will be firing up now. So let's just go full screen. Um, and as I say, there's quite a few things that can go wrong when, when you go to um, install any Daisy. Um, here we go. Any any Daisy mod, even when you're just installing the game, there's things that can go wrong. Um, so that's why I really recommend doing this on a local server, even if maybe your machine's a little bit low powered um, and can't 
run Daisy at high settings locally, you know, running Daisy and running a server at high settings locally, still do this because you will learn so much about badge files, config files, um, uh, incompatibilities, the order that you've got to do stuff, the real nuts and bolts behind the way that um, servers um, talk to each other, um, servers talk to clients, um, what stops a client from working, and it makes it so much easier when something goes wrong because so many times something <laughs> something does go wrong and you've got to start again and you've got to scratch your head and think well what could have gone wrong why isn't it working you may even well have to look at some um hello something's uh, like something's gone wrong this time <laughs> all right here we go spawn points where do we want to spawn um chernogorsk yes please spawn there we go. So here we are on the, now. Watch. Let's see. Community online tools are on. Let's turn them. Um, let's fire it up. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, what do we want? Uh, object spawner. So let's have a look. Vehicles. UH1 cursor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, what's actually happened there is I have spawned a helicopter in, but this is an example of it's actually spawned in underneath the ground. <laughs> you can see the, you can see the road. So let, let's try and spawn. Um, let's bring up Y. Let's put in uh, player management. Let's make myself God first. Let's close that. Let's go into weather. Let's make it daytime. That's better. Let's go in object spawner. Uh, vehicles. Merlin yeah <laughs> for some reason they're spawning in underneath the ground oh is that one? Oh, there we go there we go there's the gyrocopter how cool is that that is uh, pretty amazing isn't it and that's the sort of thing that you know appears when you're playing um, the expansion okay so hopefully that's been useful all the concepts that we've used there to install um, Daisy expansion on a local PC that's exactly how you would do it on a remote PC but you'd just be doing it via FTP rather than doing it via um, copy and pasting but hopefully by doing it via copy and pasting your local PC you're less likely to make mistakes when you do this on your remote server well if that's been useful hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe obviously put your comments in the description in the uh, comment section down below and I'll see you again soon.